Hello everybody, I'm Ali Bube, the creative artist from Omnitus HD, and today I'm going to be starting the episode in the, vid in the video tutorial series about the Mac OS X program Pixelmator, and I'm going to be in charge of the series. Hope you enjoy and learn from these tutorials. Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever tutorial, this time it's not a walkthrough, in Pixelmator. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a vintage effect, or basically make a photo look old. This can be used to add some edits to Facebook, like put it on Facebook to share it with friends. Or you can use it to add it to a movie if you're looking at an old photograph. If you don't know what vintage is, it's basically an old, uh, it's basically old, like worn out and stuff. If you still don't get it, either Google image it, or I suggest to wait till the end of the tutorial, which won't be so long this time. Firstly, load up the image you want to edit. Uh, in this case, I'm, in my case, I'm gonna load up this image, cowboy image. Let's load it up in Pixelmator, and there we are. It's a pretty cool photo. Uh, now we are gonna open the. Um, now, we, now we have. Firstly, of course, first step is to desaturate it. Image, it's in desaturate. Now, if you if you don't really want to scroll down uh, or click on image, be, so you can like go quicker, you can just go to help and type desaturate. And you're gonna find it over there and undo saturate and all of this stuff. So you're gonna find it over here. Secondly, we have to add some Gaussian blur. So go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Let's set the um, PX to 1. So 1. And that's the blur we're gonna add. So after we added Gaussian blur to make the image look worn out more, we're gonna blur its corners. So let's just blur out this. So yeah. Yeah, corners, please. And then blur this out a bit, the corners, with our blur tool, which you know from the previous walkthrough. So blur out. And finally, blur out. Next, we are going to add some noise with a radius of 4. So again, filter, um, stylize, noise. Or to save some time, we can just search it and write noise here so noise f stylize no not that not that cancel uh, f uh yeah stylize noise and it uh, monochrome has to be ticked and we're gonna set it to a radius of four percent as you can see it's starting to look much older now if you know what i mean now so the key to vintage effects is always an orangey yellow color. We have to add sepia. So again, search color sepia tone, which is in filter color. No, not not that. What quartz generator? Uh, whoa. Yeah, and we're gonna make it ninety percent. Um. So, so far we added sepia tone. Now we are going to add the layers that go over it. So, firstly, there's an old there's an old paper layer, which is on somewhere on my desktop. This that one. I'm going to put a link in the description. Yeah, continue anyway. Not scratches. That's the scratches layer. That goes on later. So, let's do this. Let's add this. Okay. This is weird. We want the old paper texture. So it should have been added. Let's just put it so as that it's sort of centered over the paper. And we're gonna set the blending mode. This probably works with this image the best. To multiply. So if we find it, multiply. And you can see it started, this image is starting to look much older now. Now we're gonna add the scratches layer. The came by mistake the last time I tried to add the old paper layer so scratches yes you can you can change their not that one command Z you can change their no not that one again no that that's weird you can you can change their uh, spacing no let's keep them like that because um, the scratches layer is transparent so it's gonna go into the layer pre before and we have to set the blending mode to overlay. Not old paper texture, scratches. Blending mode, overlay. Yes, it looks much more realistic. Now, you can 
say we are done, but I, I, I don't think we're done. I don't think we're even close to them because we have to give it the final touch. So we have to go to the background there, our uh, original image, and we're going to go to image, brightness and contrast. Brightness zero, contrast minus 20. Yeah, that, that'll be good. And now, uh, if we zoom out just to like crease space, just to add more effect, so and then go to the old paper texture and edit, transform, and then get that and make it smaller or like you know what I mean, just fit the image and click OK. We're gonna have this. Maybe it looks too brown, so just to blend it more, we can add some sepia to it yeah that works a lot so now as you can see we have our we have our vintage effect and now our final touch is to export it so export we i always set it to best it's two meg megabytes but that's not that big desktop let's call it let's call it vintage cowboy um to my desktop um and export it exports in seconds now i like to i like to add these photos that i make with you guys in the to my collection so let's go to my main folder and uh, my collection is in epicness i might show you my collection later someday but yeah um anyways guys thank you for watching this video this is you have been with Ali Bube teaching you showing you a pixel making tutorial on how to do a vintage image effect please subscribe to us on YouTube link will be in the description uh, f um, like our page on Facebook link will be in the description and follow us on Twitter link will be in the description too thank you for watching